Sí, muchacho. Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba are the most recent additions to David Beckham's MLS franchise, Inter Miami, with Luis Suarez expressing interest in joining them. The 36-year-old Uruguayan striker is eager to leave Gremio and join former Barcelona teammates Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba at Inter Miami. Since Lionel Messi's shocking announcement in early June to join Major League Soccer with his new team, Inter Miami, the region of South Florida has been thrust into the international spotlight. After leaving Paris Saint-Germain, Lionel Messi signed a free agent contract with Inter Miami, committing to the club for the next two years. The yearly salary of Lionel Messi ranges from around $50 million to $60 million. And if you believe the Argentine isn't showy, you'll think twice after watching this video on Messi's crazy lifestyle in Miami. If you want to view more videos like this, then smash the subscribe button. Have you done that? Good, then let's get started. After two years in Paris, Lionel Messi decided to return to Barcelona and try to negotiate a transfer. But the La Liga champion had financial difficulties, so the legendary player decided to continue his career in Florida, signing for David Beckham's Inter Miami. As one of the most famous football players in the world, Lionel Messi has a rich lifestyle that includes some of his most expensive possessions. Miami is known for being not only one of the most beautiful cities in the U.S., but also one of the most beautiful cities in the world. The celebrity wasted no time settling into American life, as evidenced by a sighting of him grocery shopping in a Miami supermarket. On Thursday, he was caught shopping at a local Publix with his wife, Antonella Rocuzzo, and their children, and astute followers noticed that he had purchased a box of Lucky Charm cereal. Customers looked on in awe and even took pictures using their phones. Messi was just hanging out? Marketing ploy? Honestly, this was fascinating. Messi and his adorable little family had finally arrived in the soccer-crazed region that had been pining away for him for years. Messi, dressed in shorts and sandals, blended in immediately. The recruitment of Messi, the Argentine, was a major coup for the team and Miami, the celebrity-obsessed unofficial capital of Latin America. When the team introduced Messi to a sold-out crowd in Fort Lauderdale on a Sunday night, he thanked the supporters in Spanish, saying, Thanks for helping us feel at home so quickly. The storm had just passed and the stadium was a bit quieter. I'm very happy to have chosen to come to this city with my family, he said. Reports from the United Kingdom and the United States claim that Messi and his family hurriedly relocated to their new residence. According to the New York Post, Messi has numerous residences in the neighborhood and recently moved into one of them. In 2019, Messi purchased a high-end property in the Porsche Design Tower in the affluent Sunny Isles Beach neighborhood of Miami. The four, 400-square-foot pad with ocean views, private security, a heated pool, a gym, and a spa reportedly cost him $5 million. Due to his move to the MLS club, many eateries have also revised their menus to include Milanese, a breaded meat cut that is reportedly his favorite. For years, South Florida has been a popular destination for professional football players from Europe and Latin America, including Messi, 36, to vacation and invest in real estate. After playing for Barcelona and Paris clubs, Messi was reportedly given a more lucrative contract to finish his career in Saudi Arabia. Still, he chose to sign with last place Inter Miami instead. The Miami Herald dedicated an entire page to him and his arrival on Sunday. The moment for me was when he landed 100 yards away, walked off the plane with his family. He was here in Miami. That was the moment where we were like, okay. Really Messi cool. was pursued by photographers in a city that used to be renowned for its occasional paparazzi. Matt Damon, a former Miami Beach resident who is married to an Argentine, remarked in 2009 that photographers harassed him only on the weekends. Caravans dressed in Argentina's blue and white flags celebrated the country's first World Cup victory in 36 years last year in a Miami Beach neighborhood known as Little Buenos Aires. Messi ate lunch at Cafe Prima Pasta, a neighborhood eatery run by an Argentinian, where the most costly meal, a steak, cost $36.95 last week. People waited outside the back entrance to get autographs and take pictures. The Argentine has been a Miami flat owner for quite some time. According to Cadena Ser, a Spanish news station, the World Cup winner purchased the Porsche Design Tower condominium in Miami in 2019. The 2017 Porsche Design Tower is an excellent choice for a permanent American residence. It takes around 25 minutes to reach the tower's 60th level from the Inter-Miami Stadium, which is located between Bal Harbor and Aventura. 
Stunning views of Miami Beach, which is only a few minutes away by car, are available to those who live in the tower. Many car lifts in the building take owners directly to their garages. This apartment complex has vehicle lifts, a private restaurant with a sea view, and a lounge with sea views. A movie theater, a golf simulator, and a race car simulator round up Messi and his family's dream abode. Foreign investors in real estate have always found Miami to be a reliable hub, and Messi was quick to discover this. Miami has one of the largest Latino populations in the United States, and most of the city's international real estate buyers are Latin Americans, according to the National Association of Realtors. Miami has one of the largest Latino populations in the United States, and most of the city's international real estate buyers are Latin Americans, according to the National Association of Realtors. Messi, now 35, hopes to capitalize on his sponsorship deals with Adidas and Apple, both of which have ties to MLS and may benefit from increased visibility if he plays in the United States. The entire Messi family now calls the United States of America home. Messi, accompanied by Antonella Racuzzo, their children, and possibly his father Jorge, attempted to escape the Cafe Prima Pasta, an Italian restaurant in Miami Beach by the back entrance. Since its opening in 1993, this Italian eatery has hosted the likes of NBA great Michael Jordan, rapper Pitbull, and actor Michael Caine for fine meals and celebrity sightings. The most costly main course is the $36.95 skirt steak with truffle fries and grilled asparagus, which would hardly dent Messi's millions. Messi tried to sneak out of the stadium, but fans mobbed him and one even kissed him. Antonella calmly escorted their children to the car as her husband followed, periodically stopping to pose for selfies with the onlookers. After returning from their excursions around Miami, it is speculated that the family will stay in their $9 million condo. A movie theater, a golf simulator, and a race car simulator round up Messi and his family's dream abode. This is how lavishly the superstar lives in Miami, Florida. We've come to the end of this video, but don't worry, there are many more to come. Hit the thumbs up button if you found this video entertaining and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you for watching. See you again.